Hello everyone, this is Angela Fields, the creator and founder of Curly Coily Tresses, coming at you live tonight for the third night this week. As promised, I'm going live all five days this week during the work week, sharing hair care knowledge and tips for moisturization and hydration. So on Monday, we spoke about um, making sure that you are applying your uh, moisturizing styling products to hair that is fully saturated with water, saturated, saturated with water, making sure that um, your the products are sealing in your hair and getting and penetrating into the various layers of your hair. And that is the best way to obtain the best defined styles is by starting with saturated hair, putting your moisturizer on, and you're doing it in manageable sections. If you're using an oil and then a gel, those would come after. But again, it's most important to start with saturated hair. The second key tip for maintaining maximum moisture and hydration is protecting your hair at night. So wrapping or covering your hair in a silk or satin scarf or a silk or satin bonnet or even a silk or satin pillowcase. I do a scarf and I do a pillowcase in silk. So if I lose the scarf in the night, I've got my backup plan. Um, and also the silk pillowcase also helps in preventing from any uh, products that I'm using on my skin from being absorbed by the cotton. So that's also giving me a level of protection there. And so then last night, we talked through um, some of the various ways that you can protect your hair, uh, doing different things to your hair, uh, making sure that, again, you're, you're getting that maximum moisture and hydration. And this is from when your cuticles are lifted after you've used the pH appropriate shampoo and you're getting the products to penetrate into your hair shaft as opposed to just sitting on top. And that is a game changing difference in hair moisturization. Um, because a product being applied to dry hair, it will sit on top, it'll give a conditioned feel, may even give a greasy feel. But when you apply your moisturizing and hydrating products to hair with the cuticle still lifted, then you are in a much better shape because your hair is, the product is actually penetrating the hair shaft. And so you're in a much better position and that is game changing moisturization and hydration, game changing. I cannot underscore the importance of that enough. So that was Monday and Tuesday. So today we're gonna to talk about pH. pH is potential of hydrogen. It is a measurement of how acidic or alkali a substance is. So anything that measures pH between zero and 6.9 is acidic, seven is neutral, and 7.1 to 14 is alkaline. The typical hair, hair and scalp sebum has a pH between 4.5 and 5.5. That is the normal, healthy, resting state for your, your hair's pH, and it is very common in the skin as well. This natural, slightly acidic uh, pH level for your hair and skin prevents fungi and bacteria from getting into the hair and scalp. So if you are encountering some problems where fungus or you're having some, some type of yeast irritation on your scalp, which is entirely possible, um, it could be because the pH of your hair is slightly off and you want to target that range. And typically pH is not labeled on a product, but you will know that it's appropriate by you, the use of terms of pH appropriate. Um, when you see something like a clarifying shampoo, it has an even higher pH than a typical shampoo because the intent is to remove any uh, product residue off the hair. So while you may not see the actual pH of a product, you can talk with the manufacturer, you can talk with the brand owner to get some details on that, and they should be willing to provide. Um, for the products that I have, all of my products fall within the range of 4.5 and 5.5 because pH is taken on every batch of product that is manufactured and it must be in that range as far as meeting my requirements. Um, and so when you think back to the days when you we used to get your hair relaxed, um, the first thing they do is apply something that is very alkali, the relaxing product, so it has a pH of somewhere between 8 and 14 to get your cuticles to lift because that is the only way to change the chemical makeup of your hair. So to take curly hair and to actually straighten it is by doing that same thing. Um, and when you're trying to get moisturization and hydration into the cuticle, you want to mimic that process because that's the best way to get the moisturization and hydration all the way down into the core levels of your hair. You certainly don't need to go 8 to 14. Um, a typical shampoo that could be very effective would be in the pH range of 6 to 8. 
Um, and again, clarifying shampoos may be a little bit higher, but you know, it's pretty close there. Um, and it's also important to note, you will see misinformation about hair care and products in many different places. And one common, one common piece of misinformation that I see is that water temperature can lower or open, can close or open your hair cuticles, and it cannot. Um, and just think about it like this, when you get your hair relaxed, they didn't put hot water on your hair to open the cuticles and then to change the chemical structure, they put a cream, a very a high pH cream on your hair to get those cuticles to open up. And so just think about it in that sense. And it's the same thing in that cold water cannot close the cuticles on your hair. Again, only pH can do that. So a higher pH product will cause the cuticles to lift and it doesn't have to be extraordinarily high. It can just be above the range of 5.5.